everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the trailer for Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. So, this is now officially the second Star Wars teaser, Star Wars trailer, whatever you want to call it. Pretty interesting week for trailers. We had the new Ant Man trailer, and I personally thought that was a really cool trailer. I know there's some that comment saying that the movie looks like absolute garbage. I respect that. We're all going to have different opinions, but I personally really liked the Ant Man trailer. Terminator Genesis, on the other hand, oh, yikes. And I thought the teaser was bad. Who the fuck spoils a plot twist in the trailer? Wow. Yeah, great job marketing team. But now that I gave you guys my brief little thoughts on the trailers that came out this week, let me go ahead and talk to you about the main one, Star Wars Episode Seven. Now, I did not review the first teaser. Um, it was pretty cool, I liked it, but there just wasn't much for me to really talk about. So I really wanted to wait for the next trailer, which is this one, to really talk about it. So the trailer opens with this big ship. I forgot what it was called, but you see it crash down. Then you're getting shots of R2-D2, the Darth Vader mask. And as the trailer is opening too, you do hear Luke Skywalker's narration, of course, played by Mark Hamill. I really did like how that really flowed with all the footages that are happening. You're gonna get some new character called the BB-8, which is some kind of droid with this big ball. That looks really cool, and from what I hear, it's actually a real one. It's actually a practical effect, which I think is really cool. You get shots of the stormtroopers, of the lightsabers, Oscar Isaac as this X-Wing pilot, John Boyega and Daisy Ridley. I hope I got both of those names right. And then, of course, the Millennium Falcon, which looks so badass. But, of course, you geek out seeing Han Solo and Chewbacca. There is so much epicness to the trailer. You really do get the Star Wars feeling just by watching this trailer. It's a well edited trailer in my opinion. I thought the editing just moved so well. The music in this trailer is just mind blowing. And the best part, it doesn't spoil anything. Like cuff cuff Terminator Genesis. <coughs> but yes, this trailer it gives you the good stuff, but still doesn't really give you what the plot is all about. And I really like that. The visual effects looks nice, the cinematography looks great, and J.J. Abrams, who I hear is a big Star Wars fan, he really looks like he knows what he's doing just by this trailer because, I mean, this is a really big movie right here that lots of fans are going to be excited about. I didn't cry watching this trailer, but I was mind blown. I was just, wow. It's basically fan service. If you are a huge Star Wars fan, you are basically going to get the good stuff that you want to see in this trailer. And this trailer definitely succeeds at that. It is much better than the first teaser. And I like the first teaser. Don't get me wrong. I did like it. But I didn't go, holy shit. This teaser, however... That's how you make a fucking teaser. This trailer had me pumped, my head exploded, I lost my mind, the music, the editing, how it was all put together is so magnificent. So I'm definitely excited for Star Wars Episode 7, and this is my third most anticipated movie of the entire year of 2015. My number one being Avengers Age of Ultron, and my number two being the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water. But yes, I really really love this teaser. So you guys in the comments down below please let me know what did you think of this Star Wars teaser. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. May the Force be with you.